What's up guys? It's me Myra here and this is gonna be a little bit different kind of video. I recently moved into a new house. Well it's not really a house, it's just a apartment. And I'm currently in the kitchen and as you can see it's a pretty nice kitchen. We have a new refrigerator. It's nice. I have a rice cooker. I have a coffee maker. I have a water boiler. I have a cookies, lots of cookies. I love the cookies. Pretty much everything I need. There's no complaints about the house. I will do a house tour later if you want the full house tour. But there is actually a one problem that I have with the house, okay? In fact, it's a problem in this very kitchen. Let me show it to you. Look at this, guys. This is my cupboard. And as you can see, there's no door. This is the door. It goddamn fell off. Just one day randomly, I was doing my own business. I didn't even touch this. It just fell off on its own. Can you believe that? And I found out the problem was these screws. Well, not the screws, I mean the screw holes. They are so worn out that when you put it in, it's just like moves on its own try to put it here the screws they just move on its own like it doesn't fit anymore so that really sucks and today i decided to i'm gonna try to fix this problem i bought some different kind of screws and equipment that i'm gonna Try to deal with it, and I got like I thought that if if the hole is too big for this screw, I just need to get a bigger screw. So I'm really hoping to fix the problem with these screws I got found, and I also got like a, I don't know what is it called, but this kind of thing. So I'm hoping that. Maybe I can like connect the door to the roof if we like cannot get oh, if I cannot get screws to connect it, I'll just connect the whole thing to the roof. And I believe that should fix the problem like this. Well I think I have to make a new hole for the screws. The one problem is over that I don't have equipment like electric drill. I only have the small manual um screwdriver so I'm gonna have to use only where is the screwdriver where is the screwdriver oh it's here so I have to deal with this I have to deal with the problems using this manual screwdriver so yeah let's get down to business you know I was thinking let's make this a little bit more interesting I need to free my hands, so we're gonna do this the old Myro way. We're gonna do this the old Myro way. And we're gonna use GoPro head strap. Let's go! So I'm gonna pause the video, and when we come back, you can see classic Myro with first person view. See ya, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. And now it's time to fix. The goddamn door on my cupboard. Oh, so I'm gonna begin by choosing. Let's get rid of these old bolts first. They're pretty much useless at this point. Don't need these anymore. Uh, why, why would they use like three different kind of screws to make this thing? Who made this? I mean, I don't know who made this, but. He must be really unprofessional because this is not how you make the kitchen furniture. You need to have the skills. Uh, okay, let's see what we have in here. Nice. Oh, one more. Mm. 
So, let's see what kind of screw should we use. This is the old, so it's really thin screw. But if we use this, I think they're much more like thick. <clears throat> and there was one screw that had like the drill system inside here, so I think this one will work re very well. I think this one will be the best, but the only problem is that it's a little bit too like big. I cannot use it like in this way. So we're gonna put this away. It's too long. It's too long. Let's start off with this one and see if we can maybe fix the problem with this. And then we can use this one to put it here. That's gonna be the best solution, okay. Let's try it. Let's move the cups a little bit away so they don't get Oh shit. Let's move the cups away. Nice. So, we're gonna begin by using this. Because I believe this one will be the best. Yeah, it's gonna fix the problem really easily. Okay. I'm gonna actually use the old screws to hold it in place just for a while. So I can put the top bolt before I put the bottom ones and it's gonna keep it in place and it's gonna be easier to repair it like this yeah now it's looking good now you I have two hands free I don't have to hold it anymore with my hands oh, did it go in <laughs> this bolt is like it's not even going in who chose these bolts Anyway, now let's try this one. I believe this will work fairly well. I think we have to make new hole for it, so... But we can put it here. Yeah, this is gonna be good. We can like put it a little bit to the left. So this is gonna be a good... Let's start on with the... What was the good screw? This was the good screw that we can like use it as a drill. God damn it. It's hard. So let's put it as top as we can. Like right around. Damn it. We have to take this one off. Okay, nice. Now it's straight. So we're gonna make marking first. Let's mark it right around here. <sighs> Ooh, this is harder than I expected. <sighs> you know what? Let's take this off. Let's take this off. We need to take this off, okay. And now it's on the floor. I can easily drill it to it. So where's the mark? It's here. Let's hope this one works. Ooh, it's working guys. Nice. It's going in. This is perfect. This screw is nice. What the hell is this screw gonna fly? Ooh. I hope I don't do it on the floor. Okay, it's going through. It's going through. Ooh, make a little bit of mess, but it's just part of the process. Nice, it went through. 
perfect. And now we just need to make another hole for this panel. Let's get the corner screw so we see the location. So it's somewhere around... We have to make it straight, so this is the hardest part, making it straight, not tilted. I think it's somewhere like here. Hmm. Maybe I should use the old screw to see the old location. Yeah, this is perfect. So I'm gonna... I am going to unscrew this new bolt a little bit, like this. Then we're gonna put the whole thing with the old bolts first. Where is the hole? Cannot seem to find the hole. Oh, there we go. This is the old hole. Good. Hard. It's hard to be Bob the Builder. It's not easy. But as you can see, this is the problem. Like when you try to screw it, it doesn't even go in. Hmm. The bottom one goes in a little bit, but the top one is absolutely crap. Let's just start screwing the new bolt. Did it go through? Yes, it went through. Nice. Now we can just... <laughs> the whole fucking thing is falling apart. <laughs> Who designed this? Oh. At least it's going through, so we just have to like push it super hard. Just push it. Let's take the old screw out. It's wordless at this point. Ooh. Okay. Oh shit. God damn it, this is. You know I should call repairman to fix this from the apartment, but last time they took like three hours to fix one small thing, so I'm not gonna call them again. And last time when the repairman came, he was smelling so bad, sweaty as fuck. I think he didn't even take shower for like three days or something, so... <coughs> I'm not gonna call the repair guy again. I'm just gonna do this on my own. At least it's gonna make interesting YouTube video. You know what? This is taking way too long. I'm gonna have a pause here and I'll return when I have it done. Like this part. So yeah, see you guys. Okay guys, I was able to drill in the hole as you can see. It's a beautiful hole. And now I can finally connect it to the L-shaped thing on the floor and it's gonna be able to stay up without falling down again hopefully uh. okay and now let's just connect the bolt again to the hole I wonder if I should use some different kind of bolt. Hmm. Is this one here? No, I think this one is fine. I'm gonna put this one in like 
this and through the hole it goes again beautiful nice I'm so proud of myself fixing the cupboard door on its own on my own I'm on my own I'm on my own again nice beautiful this is beautiful cupboard door now we just hope it's gonna last a long time a long long time oh. good let's try it perfect perfect this is how you do it guys fixing the cupboard door nice I'm, I'm gonna do some little bit adding the extra bolt to the top like this but I don't think we have to include this one in the video I mean, ooh, it's pretty boring to watch this anyway the important thing is that we finally got it fixed we finally got it fixed and yeah Bob the builder in the house and Myra the builder thanks for watching the video really appreciated it I'm gonna read some comments that you guys have sent me on my on this second channel yeah small update on the top on the end of this video I moved into a new house I'm setting up my stream setup and when I have the stream setup set up completely, I'm gonna stream like every day. Every day. So go on at twitch.tv slash Mario TV and follow me there and turn off the notification because you don't wanna miss my streams. I'm gonna have lots of funny streams. I'm gonna play like Player Unknown, Battleground, and I'm gonna play Hearthstone, and then I'm also gonna play some classic games. And I'm gonna have quests in my stream, like Base T, Base Chai, the Russian Meme Man. And I'm gonna have like, uh, you know, nice streams. I'm planning to have 12 hour stream, like classic games at one point, so that's gonna be really interesting. Oh, let's read some comments that you guys have sent us. This was hard to watch comment on the Viaboo dance video it's not hard to watch it's gonna take it like a man take it like a man if you can't take cringe like if you can't even watch the cringe videos and you have weak mind you need to have strong mind and have uh, there's someone on the outside here fucking annoying Have you played Insane Trilogy yet? I haven't played it because I don't own personally PlayStation 4, so I cannot play the new Crash Bandicoot remasters. But I'm not even sure if I want to play them because I enjoy the old Crash Bandicoot games. They're enough for me. Anime is my favorite flavor. Kakashir. Kakashir commented, Anim anime is my favorite flavor. That's right. It's my favorite flavor too. I love it. I love the anime. Oh yeah, anime. Ooh. Kakashur, if you're watching this, you're the best, bro. What else? What else? Tastes like hentai. Yeah, that's right. This comment is funny. On my Weaboo public embarrassment video, People need to mind their own fucking business. I had to let it out to everyone. I mean, I do not know what's 
more okay, the pink guy from the TV field Frank Ortiz. By the way, Otakus and my anime waifu rule, and you sir have a good waifu taste. Thank you sir, thank you gentlemen. I appreciate it, I do agree I have a good waifu taste. Kirina is a really good waifu, I love her very much. And yeah, well if I was there, I would of said, hey, my true otaku fan, love your pillow, bro. You rock, call me weird, but that's what I would of said to him. I mean, like Frozen says it, true love. Thank you. Thank you. It's true love. I love my wife very much. <sighs> I guess that's enough comments for today. Make sure to send comments. I will read them. And I will put them in the video. And connect with you guys. We're having a nice connection, okay? We're connected. But yeah, we got the door fixed. Nice. What else is there to say? Let's end the video here. Subscribe to my main channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitch. That's it. And also join our Discord channel. I have an old Discord channel. Link in the below. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the future. Goodbye. Yeah, banana. Oh, banana.